Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And how are you? Alhamdulillah. Yeah. Um, I have brought you a letter. Thank you for thank seeing you. us. Yes. I don't know if you received it or not. <laughs> and since I saw you in private, I've been to Hajj two eyes. And uh, my question today, there's a quite few, but just the first one. Why the ladies, some of the ladies, Muslim ladies, they come heavily make up and they show their hair? It's not in the Quran, is it? Uh, would you kindly help me understand this? this I wife said, will not properly carry it. I said, he, have you understood? Yes. Tell me. Some of the ladies, they are heavily make up and they, then they scarf. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I want to know that's not in the Quran. All right. Okay. You see, in the Holy Quran, all that is said is that the Muslim ladies should draw their cover, head covers, pull the head covers also across their faces. Not face, I'm sorry, across their breasts. The word face is not used there. Now, the interpretation varies regarding the meaning of how the covers are to be pulled. Some people say the head should be covered and the large part of the face should remain visible and the rest of the chadar or the sheet they, they, they vary should be brought from here like this and put hanging on the front. So that would create a decent uh, dress sort of which would discourage the wanton eyes and say look here we are not available you were honest chaste ladies. So the message would be delivered and they will not find any problem. Some say no, it should be drawn like this from in front. Now, if it is to be drawn like this in front, although I know many MD scholars whom I deeply respect have also taken this stance, but somehow I cannot bring myself up to full acceptance of this because, no, no, because it is not only face, the face they have to cover according to this verse. They have to draw it full length down to their navels for instance. Now how would that woman look like and how would she be able to negotiate herself in day to day life if she has covered the whole length of like this, you know, <laughs> like this. There is no room for normal activities for any lady. So, so that is why I prefer hmm. the, the, that meaning that it should be drawn across your breast, but also it sh should cover a little bit of, of the chin as well maybe. This is the interpretation also of Hazrat Masih as reported from his writings in uh, Islami Sulki philosophy, the teachings of Islam. Now this, at, despite this, I prefer those Pakistani MD ladies who have been using Pakistani style of veil, not a drawn, lengthily drawn head cover down to their knees or something, but uh, a sort of easy, comfortable arrangement of covering their face like this and down, down the lower part of the veil should be pulled across like this, so they can freely move about with eyes uh, in the open. Right. I prefer them as yet to continue with that because it is not only a question of interpretation, it's also a question of social problems. Always when the two generations meet, the transition from the habits of one generation to another is a very critical decision to make. If suddenly I tell all the MD ladies to throw away their, 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 their head cover, the veils and covers, and uh, only cover this like that I have explained, the message delivered to their future generation would be, we are free to do whatever you like. And they themselves would become suddenly very lax in their normal behavior. So it is a psychological problem and a social problem which I am facing 
So I'm gradually, slowly, cautiously bringing MD ladies to a custom of very strict observation, to a more lax observation which is in line with the Quran and not against the Quran. Right. The other emphasis also has its roots in the Holy Quran because regarding the wives of the Holy Prophet particularly, the parda we find described is far more strict. So their honor and dignity requires that they should not be available to the common sight. So that is why they did observe parda far more strictly. And it was perhaps handed down from them, which resulted in various types of head covers, you know, strict and less strict and so on. So we have to find a via media wisely, which does not endanger the new generation from following and over free at, adopting an over free attitude. What about the makeup? Pardon? What about the makeup? Men? No, no. What about the makeup? Make oh, yes, make that, that's very important. Yeah. There I have been always very consistent and very firm in my repeated reminders to the ladies that if they are lax in covering their face, they are only permitted it if they do not make up when they go out. That's right. Because on this, the Holy Quran is very specific. Quran. That do not make up, do not adorn yourself when you walk out in public. That's right. You see, do not show your zina. That's right. It also covers that's that. That's in the Quran. Yes, that's right. That's right. So there I, I, I advise Ahmadis, all right, if you're professionals, you have to adopt a, a comparatively lax attitude of Parza, go ahead and do it. But don't make up. Don't make an effort to attack people to your beauty, not only to your beauty, but it's to sin. beauty, add it upon beauty. It's a sin. What? It's a sin, no, I according to the Quran. Course. It is violation of the Quran, so it is a sin of sort, of course. Yeah. So then, I point out to a strange uh, contradiction between this teaching and the practices we have learned from Western style of life. Most of the makeup used today is built or made in uh, America or Hollywood or here and there. You know, they're following the fashion as dictated in the most modern um, style of life of the Hollywood girls and in, in women, etc. The point is simply this. If you go out so beautifully adorned and well made up and you do not cover yourself, you play havoc with the peace of every Tom, Dick and Harry. <laughs> you are not cheap, we know, but you appear as if you were cheap. You are not cheap, but you appear as if you are available, while you are not available. So it is not at all a reflection on your chastity that I am referring to. 